Hey guys, Jonathan Gray here with the Empower Network, and uh, today I want to talk about bloat, uh, simply because I think a lot of people don't really know what um, what it is, or really how it happens, or what it involves, and the danger it can present to their dogs. So, uh, first and most important thing to remember about bloat is it happens most commonly in deep-chested dogs. So, I don't know if you can kind of see, i move my hand out of the way without actually holding it up, and it doesn't work out too well. Wait. So, Loki, you know, she didn't like that. She's a deep chested dog, so she has a uh, a tapered waist with a, a very large rib cage that drops low down um, near her elbows. And what, for some reason, that seems to be the most common type of dog that gets bloat. And it's usually larger breed dogs, small dogs, small breeds of dogs don't generally have this problem. But uh, basically, it's Bloat refers to two different types of conditions. Um, gastric volulus is uh, volvulus is the uh, correct medical term for bloat. The gastric portion being gastric in uh, gastric dilation, which means the distending or um, I guess you could say stretching of the stomach as it fills with gas and fluid. Also, um, volvulus. Sorry, Loki is pulling on a toy right now. Uh, volvulus is the rotation of the stomach on its long axis, and the problem with that too is that the spleen is actually attached to the stomach wall, so it turns it with it, and then that can create necrosis or the death of the stomach wall and um, the uh, the spleen itself. Sorry, look, I'm getting a little hyper right now. Come here. Anyways, so a um, couple things you can do to prevent bloat is having scheduled feeding spread out throughout the day. Um, so eat three portion meals appropriate to your dog's weight. Um, in my personal opinion, feeding a dry dog food is not the best way to go simply because, especially if you have like a Labrador or a, um, a large breed dog that's really like just lapping up the food, not really chewing very well. And I mean, this is not what it says on WebMD, but I do know for a fact that if your dog is not chewing its food, it expands in the stomach that create more gas and more uh, pressure and fluid buildup in their stomach, which can be something that will promote bloat. Also, uh, no strenuous activity on a full stomach. Don't let your dog drink extremely large amounts of water at one time. And uh, honestly, I think the best way to avoid all these problems in the regard of food would be just keeping with a raw diet because for one it's not going to expand in his in his or her stomach two there's moisture in it so they don't right away necessarily get thirsty and um, it's much easier to portion out the food because you know exactly what your dog's gonna eat exactly what's not at what time because it's all measured um, you know in ounces most raw foods sell their food in like eight ounce portions or one ounce portions one and a half ounce portions so if you keep that in mind and you feed your dog a raw food that doesn't expand in their stomach, that just breaks down and digests, you probably would have less issues. Also, on top of the fact that you feed much less with a raw food. Um, I think that would be a very helpful way to prevent bloat. But um, other things also, not feeding them on a raised dish. And, uh, well, yeah, I mentioned all the rest of them. So the last one was not feeding them on a raised dish. Those things can help prevent it. Um, but if your dog's stomach does rotate, or you feel like they may have an issue, veterinary care is imperative. Um, bloat ha is bordering around a 50% mortality rate, so you definitely want to take care of that immediately. Uh, generally speaking, they'll stick a tube down your dog's throat, and if gas and fluid flow through the tube, that means they have the gastric dilation and um, can give a better diagnosis. Well, first of all, it'll alleviate the pain and then give a better diagnosis on whether or not your dog needs the surgery to have its stomach rotated back on its axis. So um, that's my topic for the day, a little bit about bloat. Hope this was informative and uh, have a nice night.